All right, so anyway, Frank, something else I wanted to ask you about, uh, because as I kind of told you when we're off camera, me and Kev are trying to appeal to a much larger audience here and there. Definitely some people watching the podcast that are a little bit less Web3 native uh, or maybe haven't just ventured into Solana uh, or Solana NFTs in general. So I wanted to ask you, basically, uh, if I were to present you with a person who knew essentially nothing about NFTs, nothing about crypto in general, yeah. right? what is a D-God? What is D Gods? It's access to a D God is access to a membership club of people that are really excited about building interesting things and uh, being a part of a movement that's all around experimentation, you know, in crypto and Web3. And so I actually think it's one of the best intros into entering the crypto Web3 space if you actually want to learn more about the entire ecosystem. Because there's projects that are all about brand, but they're not, they're trying to go more Web2. And there's projects like that want to like bridge the gap and, and make their project all about like things that are non-crypto. For us, we're way more excited about making things really, really simple that are exciting, but uh, are, are all about Web3. Because my, my thesis on Web3, and this is what, you know, if you're just getting into crypto and NFTs now, especially NFTs, what I get really excited about is people keep talking about Web3 as this thing that's going to come in and disrupt and destroy everything that already exists. Personally, that's not how I see it. I see Web3 as a new type of economy and a new thing that's getting created on top of what, we're, of what already exists. Like a perfect example of this is Airbnb and Uber could not have existed without new technology. It required the iPhone that had GPS tracking on it and mobile internet in order to actually be invented. And in the same way, what's happening with NFTs right now that excites me is like it allows this technology of just like having, you know, ownership of assets on the internet that are portable like that allows a million different use cases and a million different things that could be created from that. And that's what excites me more about crypto and Web3. So if you're excited about what is coming to, you know, online communities, how do you meet people on the internet? How do you form bonds? And how do you, you know, make money while actually having a good time and having fun and being a part of something that's bigger than yourself? I think that's, you know, why NFTs would make you excited about Web3. And that's what we're trying to do here at DGods. And I, I like your explanation of like Web3 because it's like I think a lot of people have that like like misconception that like Web3 is something that's going to like happen when it's like that's just like Web3 is just going to be like normal. Yeah. You know, like, like it's like if you want to look at it, it's like probably like Web2.5. Yeah. But it's like, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, like when the Internet happened, it's not like. Or when social media happened, like, I guess, like, Web 2, like, it was, there's never, like, a moment of just, like, hey, guys, it's, this is Web 2 now. Yeah. Like, it was just, like, yeah. like this is yeah. just life now. It's, a, it's like, a retroactive way to look at it, right? We didn't call Web 2 Web 2 when Web 2 was happening. It was a retroactive way we described that time period of the technology that was created. And, and, and one bone I have to pick here, which I think is just funny that I see in the space all the time, it's, like, people are very quick to shit on, like, centralized platforms. But in reality, like none of Web3 exists without centralized platforms yeah. like Twitter, fucking Discord. Like these are companies that are building shit and that's all the distribution comes from in Web3. And more importantly, people are very quick to forget how democratizing platforms like YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook ads, like whatever you want to like shit on now about privacy and all these things. First of all, human beings like picked, you know, and chose every single time to just accept the terms of service. Like that's you know, that is the fault of the companies, but it's also the fault of the fucking users and the consumers that will basically give all this shit up for free access to something. Point being, YouTube, you know, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, all these content creation platforms, Twitch, these things democratize the way that people can make money creating content. Before that, you had to go fucking get signed by an agent and then you had to go like, you know, grind your way up being an extra or whatever and then maybe get a role in some movie to, to be in like mainstream content. Now people can make content from their phones and become some of the most famous people in the world. That is a deeply democratic and, and insanely liberating like process that happened and now everyone wants to shit on it. In my mind, I just think that the future of Web3 is not gonna look like recreating fucking Twitter or TikTok. It's gonna be about creating a new experience on the internet that is only possible when you token gate that is only possible when you do interesting things with, you know, NFTs, crypto, whatever it is. I personally don't know, but I'm excited to see it. I'm just bearish on people that are fudding hardcore, all this Web2 shit, when even to this day, it's democratized and changed millions of people's lives and ability to make money on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Those people fudding like, uh, like Web2 companies are the same people who are like ordering everything off of Amazon, yeah. like watching Netflix and like spend their time on YouTube and Spotify. And it's and, like, uh, and the angry tweet says, uh, 
on Twitter from iPhone at the bottom. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah exactly. Like from, exactly. From, yeah. yeah, exactly, bro. Um, exactly. Yes. As soon as I say Solana phone, so let's <laughs> yeah. go, baby. Ho- hopefully the tweets send out. So yeah, it's, hey, it's hey. one. It's one bad joke. Yeah, 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 every yeah, it, yeah, it'll go down for 15 minutes every couple of days. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. honestly, <laughs> bullish. Honestly, down, bro. Yeah, it, a tweet uh, less, no, dog. Actually, <laughs> me- mental health breaks. Bro, that, like, yo, Solana's phone is actually good for your mental health. Dude, I will say, people that are talking shit about the Solana network going down, I will tell you some of the most blissful fucking days of my last nine months were the days that the Solana network went down and everyone across because now you go it's intentional Twitter. then it's intentional like, like do Solana is a really mindful company it's like, <laughs> like like you know what like people's tweets are getting a little aggressive let's yeah. just unplug it for a little bit yeah <laughs> like, exactly like, like, would people really be mad if Solana went down like as a network right now I personally wouldn't I'd be like bro honestly like now I need to chill a little bit yeah like, we got a hot tub at the crew like, 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 yeah, yeah exactly and so my thinking is like every single time Solana network's gone down which by the way Fuck, you know, it's only been three fucking times. I know that's a lot. It's only been three times this year. So, all right, guys, fucking relax. It doesn't go down every day. Point being, every time it went down, I would get excited because, like, you go on Twitter, it's all these funny-ass fucking memes of everyone. Uh, Solana pe- motherfuckers memeing Solana going down. Yeah. And that's, like, a fucking bonding experience. And um, I personally, you know, I get that it's fucking bad for a decentralized blockchain to go down and get booted back up. But, yeah, it's fucking bad. But at the same time, bro, memes are fucking hilarious. Vibes are good. I don't have to fucking like grind on the fucking checking magic eating stats or whatever. It's kind of nice. So I'll just feel, say that. Yeah, I feel like, oh, sorry, I feel no, like, no, no, no. yeah, I feel like anytime Solana's like network goes down, Solana should just like tweet like posture check or like, you know, like oh, hydration check. Water. Yeah, exactly. Like, like just like some like, like positive like things that like people should do with like with that time it's down. Yeah.